Welcome to the Titanium Vault. I'm your host, RJ Bates III. Today's episode is called Consistent as a Tree. One of the things that I think that has really differentiated myself from other people that try to do wholesaling or my competition or things like that is my consistency. And it's something that I want each and every one of you that listens to this and is watching this video to try to adapt into your business. And, and what I mean by that is, is that it's not just consistency inside the business on the low hanging fruit topics like marketing, right? You've heard me say this prior when, before I just sat in front of the camera and talked to you guys for 10 to 12 minutes, I used to always interview some of the best investors from across the country. By the way, we're going to be bringing those interviews back here very shortly. But we used to hear from them about, hey, consistency with direct mail marketing, consistency with my cold calling. That's what leads to my success. And that's very accurate. And it is very true when it comes to marketing. They all work. And whichever one you're most consistent with, is probably where you're going to see the best results. But I want to expand that level of consistency to everything that you're doing within your business and and one of the things that we've seen is is when we really are able to nail down habits right we we had the episode a couple months ago called focus your habits when you are able to focus those habits and, and be consistent within them no matter what it is if it's how we do payroll how we do the cash flow within the business how we're setting our marketing budget. What markets are we deciding to do it? What marketing are we doing? How are we displaying properties? As long as you're consistent within that, you will be able to properly analyze what is working and what is not working. And right prior to this episode, Cassie and I were having a conversation about some of the struggles that we're having with some of the dispositions of some of the properties we have under contract. And the thing about it is, is some of those properties we can look at and we can say, hey, we've been very consistent with our dispositions marketing on that. And so there's something not that that is not working. But there's other deals that we have where we can say we haven't been consistent enough. So we don't actually have a good enough sampling to analyze and pivot and make a, a strong, wise decision on what we need to be doing. And, and I, I use this analogy. I saw. Uh, this picture and it made me think and it was like consistent as a tree. When you think about what a tree does, I mean, it's consistently growing straight up and it wants to grow towards where it could get sunlight, especially if it's in a forest. And it doesn't matter about the surrounding noise that goes on around it, right? Tree does not concern itself with a bird landing on it or an animal climbing on it or anything else that's going on. It's very consistent with what it's, it's processes, right? The roots are growing down to get to water and growing wide to get as much water as possible. And then it's growing as tall as possible so it can get sunlight. That is what it cares about. And as a wholesaling real estate investing business, we need to take that same mindset towards being consistent within our business. Consistency within our acquisitions, consistency within our dispositions, but then everything else that goes along with it, with the HR, with the accounting side of things. And this is sometimes where we neglect the business the most, right? We can be so focused on what we actually do, right? Which is acquisitions, dispositions, maybe it's flipping, maybe it's rentals, whatever it is that you do in your real estate business, that we neglect other aspects of the business. And so I want you to think about it from the aspect of being consistent as a tree, right? Everything that you need to do that you form some form of habit, whatever that is, and there's a time frame in which you do it and how you do it. And then that's how you do it every single time. And if you need to make adjustments, at least you know you're making adjustments because it's not working, not because you are not working, but because maybe the process is not working. And that's why you need to make the changes. Okay. Because I see people, they, they do things like, send out one campaign of direct mail, don't get the results that they want, so they pivot to cold calling. They hire a VA 
They don't pour into the VA. They don't treat them like a new employee in their business. And they tell them to go cold call and they don't get the leads that they want. So they fire the VA and they move on to the next shiny object, whatever it is, SMS, RBMs. There's been many over the past couple of years, new forms of marketing that have come along. The same thing can happen on, on the non-sexy topics within our businesses, like accounting, like HR, right? What is your hiring process? Do you have that down? Are you consistent within it? Maybe you're not hiring, but you still have cash flow within your business. Are you tracking that? Do you know where your dollars are being spent and how you're doing it? And are you consistent within the tracking of that and how you're actually managing that side of your business? So from a simplicity standpoint, this is very much about slowing down and thinking about all of the different aspects of your business and seeing, hey, am I consistent with it? Do we have a habit that's formed? Does everybody within the business know what it is that we are supposed to do in regards to this certain topic or this certain need within the business? Because if not, you need to slow down and you need to think about how you're going to be consistent within that certain aspect of your business. No matter what it is, there needs to be some kind of consistency within it. And you will hear that over and over and over again from very successful entrepreneurs, business owners, whatever you want to call them, that consistency is what has separated them from their competition. Very simple message today, but vitally important to how you're gonna progress within your journey. All right, guys, that's all I got for you today. Again, remember if you're listening on Apple Podcasts, give us a five-star review. And if you're watching on YouTube, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and give us a thumbs up. See you next time, thank you.